Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches. So, if your discretion is advised, we kill shit here. Welcome back everyone. I'm very impressed with the ranger on how it's handling out here. We just had three inches of rain. It didn't rain today. I mean, I think it sprinkled this morning, but I just thought for sure I would bury this thing out here. I got corn stalks stuck all over the rope. I guess that's gonna be normal. Yeah. I'm very happy with it though. But uh, that deer head, that's crazy. So I made some of my own caster with all the beavers over the weekend i uh, i think i skinned 20 beavers and i just kind of i just refilled this jar but i've got several quart jars and i got a bunch of caster hanging threw some stuff in there we're gonna rebate or relure i mean and i gotta remake the caster mounds because uh, the water i could see the water level was clear up out of the the main area so I'm sure that they need remade. Let's see if I got anything. Yeah, it definitely got high. You can see the water lines. Let's get some ducks out. I'll go down here first. I can't even see my... The water's really dirty now can't see my trap from here anyways see the caster it's sitting up there all nice needs remade it doesn't stand out as much as it did traps still there caster actually has some beaver tracks on it water was probably too high we're gonna we're gonna put a stick out in front of the trap So pretty much the traps right here and I can see beaver has climbed on the on the trap so yeah it's probably not the ideal spot so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to block that side so they don't climb up that way anymore grab some debris right around here Some of this stuff looks dead, but it's just not. It's not as dead as I thought it was. And you pretty much just need to divert them. I, there's too many places right here to actually put the trap. I don't want to. I don't want to cut all this out and stop them. It seems like it wouldn't work, but it actually will. We just want them to go right here. And stop dodging our set. I've got a god awfully amount of canisters, so I'm gonna put a big old blob right there. Oh man, that smells good. Yep. They're gonna smell that. <laughs> that trap's actually fairly deep. But I think we'll still get a catch. All right, let's go. Yeah, that water line is clear up in there. We got rid of all my footprints. So we've gotten seven beaver here. 
can't say it every time. I don't expect a whole lot more. But look at there. Another beaver track. That trap. It appears to be silted down. But look at the caster mound. This trap is gone. Okay, that's good. Let's see if we got anything here. I got myself a monopod. If anybody knows what that is, is I can just stick it in the ground now. Caster, absolutely destroyed. I'm gonna have to build this all up. The water's too deep. Got something on there for sure. Oh, nice beaver. Sweet. More caster. Just had him by his hand. He's not a monster, but we will definitely take it. And we gotta build up this. We gotta build up this caster mound again. And the bed where the trap goes is way too deep now. That will probably do it. That's about all it'll take, really. So while a lot of you guys got a ton of snow, we got a bunch of rain. I know they're doing it. Maybe just a little bit more. And then obviously once the water drops, I'll have to take some out. So if you, so I guess the point of this is if you make your beds too deep to begin with, if I would have went too deep, they would be really far underwater right now. And there's a chance you wouldn't get a front foot for sure. I mean, I'll take any foot I can get. Clean off my drowning rod so that they can go down the slider. And we're going to put our trap right back where we had it. It's that far in the water at the moment and we got two days more of rain coming so that will probably be all right get some of my caster if you follow me on instagram you know what's in this oh god if you guys could just smell that and we're we're talking it's a uh, got some smell it's gonna drift a little bit all right, we got two more traps over here. I looked down from the top of the hill. I couldn't see. The water's just too dirty. Yeah, according to the water line, the water was clear up in here for a little while. Which is crazy. Good thing it's gone down. Oh, we got all kinds of beaver tracks here. I mean, all kinds. I can see some fresh tracks. I could think I see the trap, but there's some fresh climb outs right there. Pretty sure the trap's still here. I will go down and make it so that they will step on it and come back through. Oh, it's deep. Trap's still here. It's kind of sealed it in a little, but as you can see, hand depth might have been able to catch them, but we are going to make it so that it's not as deep. And we'll get them for sure the next round, hopefully. They are uh, climbing mostly right here now, so 
put our trap right there. Just adjusting for the conditions you have. There's nothing else you can do. If you if you don't keep trapping, then you ain't because of Mother Nature. Then you just you ain't you're gonna have a rough go. It's gonna be a rough go, especially in the winter time. A lot of people quit trapping early because of the freezing and thawing. But you just gotta stick with it. Just limit your traps. Just Keep your line out, just don't have as many traps to remake all the time. Keep it fun. I don't know exactly where I want that. And we're going to try it right there, because I can see they're going up right there. This guy right here. He's going to divert them a little bit. And then this guy right over here sticking out of the bank. Sweet. Should have had one there, so we wouldn't have had to change the conditions. Probably would have had it. <clears throat> I gotta see if I can get up this thing now. Man. <laughs> There's the slide. They're climbing out right there. Right there, going up. They were going up right here. Now they're, they've changed just a little bit. Probably not that same one that I already caught. There's several here because I've seen several tracks now. So we got more to catch. One more trap. So far the waders are holding up. I actually used uh Gorilla glue. <laughs> Put it in the hole real liberally and then it expands. It expanded on both sides. So it uh it is done what it's supposed to do. It don't look pretty but so far I'm dry. That's all that matters. Whew, what a workout. Looking for fresh tracks here. Okay, a monopod, I said that earlier, but instead of being a tripod with three legs, this is just one. It's almost like shooting sticks. And it uh, is collapsible to any height, so I can uh, just stab it in the ground. Wow, that tree looks different. I don't remember that one being so chewed up. It's like, how did they... Did they climb out there like a raccoon? Yeah, we got some fresh beaver tracks here too. And maybe we got one here. The caster mound looks like it's been beat up, so... They are eating the hell out of everything. I need to go farther upstream. I'll probably do that next week. Put some more upstream farther. This is as far as I've went. It's kind of dammed up a little bit there. I'd say, uh, I'd say a beaver definitely ransacked this sucker. Look at that track. There's my hand. There's a the track. I don't know if the trap's there or not. Water's so freaking dirty. I'll set this up right here. I like this. Stick it in the ground. So simple. God, that's so simple. I don't know how to carry that freaking tripod. I'm scared to put my hand in there. Trap is still there. Dang it. Oh man, that sucks. Well, we are going to build this one up too, because it is fairly deep. We just missed him. He probably came through when the water was clear up over the caster. 
it's hard tailing. It's exciting. We know there's more and we're gonna have a good test on my lure here. Just for shits and giggles. My little mixture I made. But yeah, they can get out <laughs> anywhere they want. So. so a big caster has been drawing them in. Mostly be I think because it just stands out more. And it'll help you find your trap. If it was underwater, you'd be able to kind of see the hump. Unless it's five feet underwater. Then that doesn't help you at all. Caster on there. Maybe they'll stop climbing all the way and shit. Yeah, I need to go ahead and put... You know, that's probably what I need to do. I need to grab a, another caster mound, another trap and put a caster mound down there. And then I can just park right there, check these two. I don't have to walk all the way over here. I thought I saw movement down there. But down around that corner, there's kind of a hut. So that's why I need to move farther up. There, the uh, Some of them will be traveling all the way down here to fix the dam and whatnot. All right, that's it for this spot. I got one more spot to check. That's pretty good right there. I'll be happy with that. <laughs> I mean, apart from the fact that I thought I should catch something at the at the pond, I'm just uh, I'm about to wave the white flag on that one. You can see the little sucker swimming around. Just ain't catching them. I plugged up one more hole. And I put a trap where they're climbing from pond to pond. I don't know. We got until the 31st here in Missouri, so we're gonna ride it out until the end. And then we'll put all of our focus in Iowa, but that's a in case I don't have something on the next set. I'm pretty, that's freaking antlers. That's crazy. I'm happy with that for sure. All right, guys, here's the ranger. She's getting muddy. She's being used. She's been hauling all kinds of beaver. And she's dirty now. Uh, plan on having doors before next season. It's kind of low end priority, not low, it's low priority because I'm just happy to have a windshield and room to put stuff. So it's way better. But. A lot of people have been commenting, did I just get the Ranger? I got it on Valentine's Day. It's uh, It's been in quite a few videos already, but I don't really talk about it. So I figured I might as well make a video. Let me pull corn stalks out of here. <laughs> make a video about her. I don't really, uh, I'm not gonna go check out my new Ranger kind of video. It's just gonna be a piece of equipment that I needed. Should have had a long time ago. So, alright guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned.